Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your tour and got a deeper dive into what makes UAT so special. You've seen that UAT is an elite private university with a high-touch family environment built around mentorship and coaching. That's educational model is about the journey from true immersion to mastery of the craft. And you've seen that it's a safe place, a perfect incubator for students who love to dream and create, individuals with an affinity for emerging tech and collaborating with others with similar passions. Now you've seen that not only does UAT offer the most cutting edge degrees in technology, advanced far beyond other schools, but that it produces alumni who become masters of the craft. Our students earn tech respect by achieving real innovation that catapults them at the beginning trajectory of their life's work, years before their counterparts study in other schools. They start their careers at higher levels because of their collaborative project-based education, the open lab mashups, real world experiences they gain at UAT. So think about it. When you learn in such a rich emerging tech environment, alongside like-minded, passionate people, and with a teaching methodology like synchronic learning, when you experience working in cross-discipline teams in a 24-7 living learning environment and create innovations like the student innovation projects you saw today, then you will earn tech respect, allowing you to create, innovate, and truly change the world. Now, I'd love you to hear this from some UAT graduates, but first, let me thank you for investing your time with us. And once again, I look forward to seeing you at a UAT graduation. Network security involves having the ability to test the security controls of any system, specifically networks, but anything that's associated with that. UAT prepares students by putting them right next to industry professionals as their professors and provides them access to hardware that normally students don't get to even play with. They get a massive cyber lab that DOD has funded for you to start up as many VMs as you want and go nuts. While I was at UAT, I participated in CCDC, uh, HATS, which was a cybersecurity club that we ran at school. We volunteered at DEF CON and Black Hat. We had a lot of fun. After graduating UAT, I co-authored a book and I've been a federal contractor for two very large U.S. agencies. My name is Daniel Sontag. I'm originally from San Jose, California. I went to UAT uh, and now I live in Amarillo, Texas and I work for KVII-TV, which is an ABC and CW affiliate. Well, my official job title is the Creative and Promotions Director, so I'm pretty much in charge of a creative team, and our job is to create commercials for um, local businesses. And then on the flip side, on the promotions side, I actually help promote the news team. UAT really helped to prepare me for my career by giving me the core values of what I needed for the industry to really go anywhere that I wanted to go. UAT works really hard to individualize the career paths for the students. There were really two professors at UAT that helped me on my path. Uh, first is Paul Denigris. Um, he is the digital video professor here at UAT. I would stay late in the digital video lab and I would text Paul. He gave me his personal cell phone number and anytime I ran into problems with the software with Avid Media Composer, I would text him. And secondly is Sharon Bullman here at UAT. She is in the digital video program, but she teaches a lot of the core um, parts of DV. Paul teaches the onset product where Sharon will teach things like lighting techniques, acting, directing, um, makeup, uh, kind of all the behind the scenes stuff is what Sharon does. And she was just always there. She even came to a lot of my outside curricular activities. Just anything I needed, these two teachers, Sharon Bowman and, and Paul DeNegras, were always there, always helping us cultivate our abilities. Being able to have those individualized times with your professors is something that, you know, money almost can't buy. Uh, if you go to a state school, you can sit in a classroom with a uh, hundred other people. The professor will never know your name. He'll never know who you are. He'll never know what you're good at. Now at UAT, when I was here, we had class sizes in the DV program once we got to the higher levels, uh, the three, 400 level classes of maybe eight, 10 people. And that was our crew, that was our team. And so we got to sit there and, and have those heart to hearts with our professor and say, you know what, here's what I wanna do. Here's what I think I'm good at. How can I get better at this? And he would take those times to sit down with you individually and figure out how am I gonna get you to where you wanna be. I think my single favorite thing about UAT is really just 
being surrounded by people who felt like they were like me. UAT is a place that cultivates great minds, but it's the great minds that people didn't notice. They didn't notice them in high school, um, or they thought they were weird or just so different that they're not like me, so I'm not gonna pay attention to them. When on the inside, they're going home and they're playing with that technology, they're learning how to code, or they're learning how to animate, or they're learning how to make short films, or what have you. And when you come here, it's not weird anymore. It's, you're, you're, you're completely normal. You're surrounded by people who are interested in the same things that you are. My name is Merrick Graves. I'm from Stafford, Virginia, originally. Uh, I currently live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm the Executive Director of Technology at OmniVista Solutions. OmniVista Solutions is a, it's a boutique consulting firm. We specialize in financial service offerings. So we build custom software, we do implementation and customization of trading systems for uh, buy-side firms like hedge funds, investment banks. So when I first came to the school, um, you know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do exactly, but I knew I wanted to get in CAD, I wanted to be in virtual reality, I wanted to be doing stuff with computers. And, and that was really the beginning of the dot-com uh, explosion. Right? I came here in 96. Um, I remember sitting in the, ca in the cafe, they had, they had computer kiosks out, working with like Mozilla, the first version of you know, the internet browser, trying to figure out what all the stuff meant, working with like WinSock DLLs and establishing connections, right? Just, just everything was new to everybody. So, so I came to UAT to sort of um, realize what I thought was you know, the dream of getting involved in computers, not really knowing what that would be. Uh, and then once I, once I got here, uh, you know, different classes kind of changed my direction a little bit, and that's really when I was able to sort of um, understand what the future of the field. So one of the things that UAT really provides that I've always felt was a, a major differentiator against all the other programs that are out there is you, know, you get into a small environment with other people who are really passionate about doing something creative, working with technology. Uh, and that could be, you know, writing software, it could be building games, it could be, you know, in film and 3D animation and special effects. I mean, it's just an amazing wealth of potential coming through here. And you're gonna meet all these people. So coming to a program like, like UAT, you come here because of the potential. And then, you know, it almost like marries, you know, you with what's out there. You need to be the one knocks on the window and says, hey, what's that? That looks cool. But it's there, right? We have it, they have it everywhere around here. You walk through the halls and you're like, I wanna be working with that. Hey, what are you working on? Oh, I'm doing this thing. Oh, that's so cool. How do I do that? Well, you know, have a seat, let me show you. I mean, that happens every single day, right? I haven't been back in, you know, eight years and I sat down yesterday and I put on a VR headset that I hadn't been able to do in 15 years. And I was blown away what's out there. You know, I wanted to come back and work on projects, sit in the new technology lab and just hack away on stuff until three o'clock in the morning like I used to. And that's, that's why I came here. And every time I come back, I'm always like kind of re-inspired. Like, you know, I wish I could send my kids here. When I, when I look back on how I got to where I am now, right, a partner in a firm, working in New York City, I've got a corner office in Bryant Park, right? and successful by anybody's standard. And I look back at UAT and how it prepared me for things. And I, and I, think, I think that the biggest piece that uh, students need to get out of this is they need to learn how to learn, right? They need to learn how to adapt. They need to think, I wanna do technology, great. Project yourself three years from now, what's gonna be the skill set that I need to be good at in order to be successful? Project yourself five years out. What's probably gonna be something I should keep an eye on? And ask yourself these questions like on a monthly basis. What should I be doing to improve myself? Right? It's a very difficult thing for someone like myself to find qualified software developers. It's hard. I interview people all the time and I don't think they're up to the grade. I look at people coming out of this program and I think they're all great, but you know what? They're all hired before I even get a chance to talk to them. So, um, you know, they need to be, they need to be patient. They need to understand that, you know, nothing's going to be handed to me. I have to work hard for it, but there are opportunities there. If you work hard and you embrace, you know, the thing that excites you the most, be good at that thing and you can find, you know, you can be successful working in that, in, in that area. I think what's great about UAT is that you're surrounded by people that want to do the same things you do. I went to the University of Hawaii at Hilo first doing uh, traditional art and they didn't really have any graphics. So looking online um, with help from my parents, we found three schools. One was Full Sail, the other one was University of San Jose. They had a really good animation program at the time. Well, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do animation or video or any of that other stuff. And the last one we found was UAT. 
Uh, so yeah, we looked at those three schools and ended with uh, UAT because when we called and talked to them, they were the nicest people. But honestly, I had all my questions that I wanted to be answered. I called them, they talked to me, and we decided that's where I should go. When I went to UAT, the degree I decided on was digital animation. Um, I didn't really know what that meant at the time. I just knew I wanted to work in movies, animations and movies, right? So I went with digital animation. Towards the end of my stay at UAT, I actually ended up double majoring in digital animation and digital video. They're very interconnected because whenever you do any sort of animation work, you are looking through a camera because you have, you're confined to a composition and that is, as soon as you look through a camera, your, your composition comes into play. So understanding compositional techniques that you learn in digital video, you apply that to everything else that you do. One cool thing at UAT is they have a green screen room. Most of the shots I do, 80% of the shots I do all day long are shot on green screen. We also have a mocap studio, which is really fun. I got to actually got to put on the suit and dance around and watch it go to a 3D character. These are all things that I learned at UAT that I apply every day. UAT was a friendly environment to, to be in. Yeah, you were with people that like the same things you like to do. They like to play video games, they like to watch movies, they like to work on stuff and they want to be better at what they do. And just that positive learning environment that UAT provides is so helpful for someone that might feel like they're an outcast. Like at UAT, no one's an outcast. Paul Dominguez was my digital video professor at UAT and one of my mentors at UAT. I asked him how to get where I need to go. Like, how do I get here? And he told me the best single piece of advice, he's like, you need to go to LA. The job that you are meant to do is in LA. And I took that advice and that's where I went. It's true though, like it's not, it's not smoke. I graduated with two degrees, uh, digital video and digital animation, and I've contacted this company probably about like five times, was, was saying like, hey, I do, I do compositing, oh, that didn't work. Um, I do uh, 3D stuff, that didn't work. Um, I'm really good at PA job. That's the one that got me a call back, was they're like, oh, this guy's a PA, that'd be awesome. But my background is in compositing and visual effects, everything that I've been doing since I was in school, but I told him I was a PA just to see if I could get my foot in the door. I get in there, I talk to the guy, he's like, oh, so uh, you do motion graphics, right? I said, no, um, uh, I'm here for the PA position. He's like, oh, I'm like, but I have my motion graphics reel right here, if you want to see it. I get back to work Monday, and then Tuesday I get a phone call, they wanted me to start Thursday. And my first real professional shot was working on NBC's Knight Rider in 2008 for a company called Master. I worked on Knight Rider for about a year, doing compositing and mainly motion graphics. After Knight Rider is when I got to work on Avatar, which was the so far like one of the biggest things I got to work on. Being there working on it, um, yeah, it was a phenomenal experience. I got to work with amazing art directors, amazing artists, artists that I have worked with for the past two years. Um, we all met on Avatar, and the coolest part about being on Avatar was getting uh, getting your notes directly from James Cameron. The opportunities that came from working on Avatar have got me to where I am today because the art director that I worked with, um, we did all the motion graphics together and he has called me four or five times since then to work on other movies or commercials, TV spots, um, and it's all because I worked on Avatar with him. It's all about connecting and meeting people and I met people at UAT that have followed me through. I still, I know I know the people I met at UHA and know all their kids' names. I go to their birthday parties. Uh, we're just that connected because we went to the same school, we work on the same projects. You know, it's like a second family, the people you meet. 100%, I'm really happy I chose UAT because if I didn't, I would have never met the people that have got me where I am today. And you're made to do magic every day. Come on, you can't get any better than that.